we're, now we're going to create the trig models. So this is mathematical modeling, and we will be given either in a uh, graph or a story, and we have to come up with the model, not just, we don't just use the model. Um, and, um, okay, so the goal in order to do this is, is basically to find all the missing constants, and then you'll have the equation. So, so in order to make this happen, your, your goal is to find the values of these constants, A, B, H, and K. You have to find those four things, A, B, H, and K, for the um, equation Y equals A sine, you've seen this before, B, X minus H plus K. If you're going to model it with a sine curve, or I'll write the whole thing out, if you're going to model it with a <coughs> cosine curve, y equals a cosine b x minus h plus k. And you've seen this before. <coughs> However, previously I may have used capital letters for a and b. And now I'm, I'm using lowercase because that's what the book does. But it's the same thing. Previously I used uppercase a and b. But it's still the same thing. Okay, so, and, the, and then we have to ask ourselves, how do we choose whether to model with sine or cosine? And the answer is, you can model anything with either because they're the same. They're just there's a little phase shift between the two, but otherwise they take on the same values. Sine and cosine, as you go around the unit circle, they both go from zero up to <coughs> one, to zero down to negative one, back to zero, right? But at different times. But there's one that's usually easier to use than the other when you're modeling. So how do you find these? And we'll talk about that. So how do you find these? Well, the amplitude. The amplitude is based on the value of A, and it's basically you'll take the maximum value from the graph or story, subtract the minimum, and divide by 2, because the amplitude is like the height of the wave from the center. The amplitude is the height from the center. So. Um, Subtracting max minus min divided by 2 gives you that. And sometimes you don't even need the formula. You can just look at the graph. Um, the period the, for, the period is the same as it was before, is 2 pi over b. But when you're going in the opposite direction, usually you're trying to find b. So b is 2 pi over the period. So wh when you translate, whichever direction you're trying to go, the period is just how long it takes to repeat itself. The period is, and I would recommend going from the two peaks of the graph. Like, how long does it take to go from the highest point to the highest point? Again, that's the period. You can see from looking at the graph. So then, but usually, if you want to model with an equation, you want to solve for b, so you would do 2 pi divided by that period. These are equivalent. If you just cross multiplied and rewrote it, these would give you, these are the same equations. So it's always, rule of thumb, it's always 2 pi over whatever it is when you're trying to go back and forth. So there's that takes care of A and B. And then, um, as always, our horizontal shift, and you're going to find this with conic sections in the next unit, horizontal shift is H. It's always been that way with function families since the beginning of time. And the vertical shift is what it's always been. Vertical shift is up and down is K. And that can be found, that's where the, where's the center of the wave, basically. That's the vertical shift, if you're moving it up, down, up or down. And that, if you wanted a formula for that, it's the maximum point plus the minimum over 2. Because you're trying to find the middle of the wave. So the average is the middle. You add them up and divide by 2. So those are your, those are your um, formulas for doing this, for creating a model. So now let's do some examples. Um, and the directions or the test objective would say you'll be would say write a function write a function in in general I would say for the graph but the book says for the sinusoid so I'll say that write a function find the model write the equation find the function okay so the the first example is um, Let's say we have a graph, and looks like this. 
So this is all given. It passes through the point 0, 2. And on the x-axis, we're going to go by, that's pi over 3. This is 2 pi over 3. Again, this is all given. It also passes through the point, um, passes through the point here is the lowest. So you kind of need, one of the most important things you need is the highest and lowest point for the graph. Um, so pi over 3, negative 2. It passes through these two points. So this is high, and then it goes down. This is the lowest, and then it goes back up to the highest up here, and etc. Okay. Um, so we're, we're we can look at the graph. We're also given two specific points that it passes through, which is helpful. Um, the highest point again is here at 2 pi over 3. All right, so this is all you need to create the model. If you knew something behaved in this way, you could write the equation. So let's go through all the steps. What is What do you think the maximum point is on this graph? So that was all given. Now I'll use a different color for our work. What do you think the maximum is here? Yes. Maximum and minimum are the y-coordinates. So the highest point it goes up to is 2. And what's the min? Good. Negative 2, that's the lowest point. Okay, so we'll use that. So when we want to know the amplitude, you can look at it. You can tell the center is at 0, and so the height of the wave from the middle is 2. You can tell by looking at the graph that the amplitude is 2, yes. But if you wanted to use the formula, you would take max minus min, 2 minus negative 2, and divide by 2. So you get 4 over 2, or 2. So that's going to be A in our equation. So we're a fourth of the way there. We have to find the constants, A, B, H, and K. So we found A. Now we're going to find K, which is if there's any shifting up or down. Can you tell me what K is without even using a formula? Did I shift it up or down, or is it centered right at, the, at 0? It, it's centered right at 0, so k is 0. We didn't move it up or down. But I'm just going to use the, the formula. So you would add max plus min divide by 2, and of course that's 0. Um, now, uh, period, um, we can do, uh, let's find h. For the horizontal shift, normally we're not going to have any that have a horizontal shift. So you could, but but we won't. Um, so, and if you do, you, then H would be that horizontal shift. But if you pick, should we pick cosine or sine? What's easier so that we don't have a horizontal shift? Yeah, if we just use cosine, we don't need to shift it right or left because the highest point is already at zero, at x is zero. So so we're gonna just use cosine to model this, so we don't have any horizontal shift. Use cosine because it already starts at the highest. And if, or if it started at the lowest, we would still use cosine, highest or lowest, except A would be negative if it started at the lowest. So use cosine because it starts at the highest, so, um, so H equals zero, no, meaning no horizontal, no horizontal shift no horizontal shift. So h is 0, and now we need, what are we missing? We have a, k, h. What do we need? Yeah. We need b. b is based on the period. b is not the period, it's based on the period. b is 2 pi over the period. So you look at the graph to find the period. There's not a formula. How long does it take to go from the highest back to the same highest place? How long, in terms of x, does it take to go from the two peaks? Yeah, pi over 3. You can tell from the coordinates, right? No, 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 no. From highest to lowest is pi over 3, but it we need a complete period. From the high back to the high, so how long? 2 pi over 3. Did I hear it wrong? Okay, yeah. So 2 pi over 3. So the, the period is this length of time, and you see it from the graph. It's 2 pi over 3. So look at the graph. The period is 2 pi over 3. 
it, it, you'll see it in the graph, or you'll you'll be able to figure it out from the story that you're given. So the period is 2 pi over 3. So you do, um, so b equals 2 pi over 2 pi over 3, which is just dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Therefore, b is... Okay, 2 pi, 2 pi times 3 over 2 pi, which is? Three. Is 3, right. The, the, the pi's don't have to cancel, but they, they, they do. So, so b equals 3. So the equation is, the final answer then, now we put it all together, is y <coughs> equals a, what's, what was a? Go back from our work. Um, and then we decided to use cosine and what was B? 3 and then B times X minus H there was no shift right so it's just X there's no there's no H H is 0 and K is is 0 so this is it there's no minus h or plus k that we would need to write because they're they're both zero. So what what you're going to do now is number two. You're going to do on your own. You're going to you're going to try this exact process, and you're going to do this one. And it's here's the, here's the graph. So the highest it goes up to is one. The lowest it goes down to is negative 3. Um, you have the point, let's see, scale the x-axis here, 1, 2, 3. Um, you have a point, you have a point here that's a half 1, so that the graph goes through 1 half 1. You have another point that's three halves negative three. That's one and a half negative three, <coughs> which is right here. Three halves negative three. So the, given those two points are on the graph, and so we we can sketch this here. It's going to go through that po point, and it's going to go. Down. Um, and the center <coughs> of this, well, you'll figure that out. And so that's it. That's all that's given. And you're going to find the equation of the graph. And you're going to choose to model it with sine or cosine, whichever is easier so you don't have to do a horizontal <coughs> shift. and find the equation.